Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is The PR and I'm Joanna RH. So first of all, I just wanted to give you guys a really, really big apology for being missing for so long. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for those of you that have subscribed to me in the last couple of weeks and days because the, um, the video that I did on eczema and hyperpigmentation is doing really well and a lot of you have kind of um, started your journey with me through that video and I just wanted to say thank you so much for the kind comments and support etc etc um, I do have loads of videos planned for you guys in terms of skin healing and skincare and that is definitely going to be coming soon hopefully this Sunday will be the first video posted up but I just wanted to come on here quickly just show you um, just kind of update you guys what's been going on and um, those of you that follow me on Instagram, which you should follow me on Instagram because I feel, I feel like it's so much easier to use Instagram because if I need to tell people something, I just put it up in like two minutes. Whereas if I want to do a YouTube video um, between like full time work, free kids and being married, it's just so hard to just actually sit down and get stuff done. And YouTube takes a lot of editing and you know how it is anyway. But anyway, if you want to like keep up with basically what's going on with me and maybe why I might not be around, Instagram is definitely the first place that you need to go. So anyway, so um, those of you that do follow me on Instagram will know that I've moved recently. So the last two weeks I've basically spent like kind of moving out of our old place, moving into this place. Um, the whole process has been so, so, so stressful. It's unbelievable. But I cannot complain because the place that we are in now is absolutely gorgeous. Like it's absolutely beautiful um, and I couldn't be more grateful like those of you that kind of know the story and know where we've come from would understand like why it's been so overwhelming for us whatever but literally like this has been like the biggest breakthrough in such a long time and it's just yeah I'm gonna just give you a brief kind of like outline as to kind of like what's been going on where we've come from and basically where we are now I'm gonna show you around really quickly obviously it's not done finished yet because I still have a lot of stuff to unpack as you can see but I will go around um, the house and just briefly show you what it looks like or whatever and um, also those of you that have been following my channel for a long time will remember that um, a few months ago maybe yeah quite a long time ago I put up a few vlogs um, that were called um, living with eczema and for some reason I don't know what it was but I deleted those videos I was like oh, I don't really feel the need to have them on my channel but now I wish that I'd left them there because what's all going on now would make so much sense but anyway those videos are basically kind of explaining the whole housing situation um, and if I can find them, if I haven't deleted them because I do tend to delete videos after I've edited them because they take up so much space if I haven't deleted them I might put them back up so you can see but just generally I just wanted to explain to you what had been going on and um, yeah as I said I just want to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel there's so so much more to come and um, yeah let me show you around so first of all you've got our bedroom so this is basically the room it is actually huge I think it's quite big anyway um, so there's my YouTube video set up over there and then over here um, the bed is there and it's on the floor at the moment because our bed hasn't been brought over from the old house to the new house yet um, and then over here You've got beautiful, I don't know what these windows are called, are they bay windows? I don't know, but basically <laughs> the windows that you have at the top of a like a loft conversion and these are, they're just gorgeous. Like when I wake up in the morning and the light comes through the window, it's just so nice to just, um, yeah, just see the sunlight really and see the sun come up, it's actually beautiful. Um, and then over here um, we have our own sweet bathroom which is really beautiful and I have to say um, because the house is like brand new reno and brand new renovated is that the right? <laughs> I can't even speak properly today it's been newly renovated that's the right word um, the bathrooms in the house haven't been used and stuff so it's really nice to know that because <laughs> that's one of the things that actually put me off moving house like trying to think like who's been in the house before but yeah so this is really nice and then you've got like a really massive mirror here that turns on, um, the light turns on here just by swiping your hand. So that's really pretty. Um, so if I come out of the bathroom, out of the room, I've got a mirror there which I need to clean actually. It's not going to stay there, I'm going to um, move it into the bedroom at some point. Um, yeah, so over here, this is a really, really, really nice feature as well. Say if I'm upstairs um, 
because there's so many flights of stairs in the house. If somebody presses the bell, I can basically answer it from here. If I want to see who it is, I press this button and then it's got like a video um, basically showing me who's there and I can speak to them like on the phone and basically say, um, yeah, can you just leave my package downstairs? <laughs> so it saves me going all the way down the stairs, which is so good. Especially when you've got kids in the house as well because sometimes you can't really leave them to open the door. Um, so yeah, this is my, so yeah, we've just gone down a few flights of stairs over there. And then we are at my um, elder son's room, which again, it's not been decorated. I'm um, not decorated, I mean, it's not been um, finished yet because we still haven't fully moved in. And a lot of his furniture still needs to get put up. So his bed is dismantled, etc., etc. But yeah, this is his room there. And um, yeah, the light that comes into this flat is actually beautiful as well. Um, so we're gonna go down one more flight of stairs actually not one more there's, I think there's one more <laughs> so this is I'm taking you into the um, let me zoom out so I'm taking you into the uh, living area um, so this is the living room area and as you can see the light that comes into this place is absolutely stunning as well um, so yeah a lot of people don't really like the whole um, living room and kitchen in one. But I think it looks really good. Um, not looks really good, I think it's just really nice to have it in one because when you're cooking in the kitchen, I don't know if it's just me, when I'm cooking in the kitchen and like I say we've got people over, or even just our families, like whatever, just chilling in the front room, I feel like I'm, I'm left out. Sometimes you could be in the kitchen cooking for like one hour, two hours, and everyone's just chilling and you're in the kitchen stuck on your, on your own. But I feel like with this set up, it's like, the kitchen's there, you're all doing your thing in the kitchen, and then everyone's just chilling here on the sofa. Um, I bought this, or well, my friend actually gifted me this sofa because she's such a darling. But yeah, she bought us a new sofa because I had to throw my sofas away because of um, the whole mold situation. Um, and I'm just gonna buy like a few other accessories to go around basically because the room is quite small. Um, I might buy a chair and a few poo phase, whatever. So when people do come around, they do have somewhere to sit. Um, but yes, this is the kitchen area as well, and um, there's loads of cupboard space. Um, the fridge is here, which I'll just quickly show you because, you know, I love my food, and majority of it is fruits and vegetables, so you know I practice what I preach. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's the living room and kitchen area, and then over here, oh, we've got another one of those phone things on this floor as well, which is good. And then over here, and um, this is my kids' room. Um, well, the baby's room anyway. Um, you guys would probably know already that I've got two babies, two toddlers, two and three, two and three years old. So my, um, they share a room at the moment because they're still young. Um, and yeah, so this is their bedroom, which is basically done because their room is just so easy to do. Like we didn't need to take their beds apart because they're small and they came basically out of the van like that. And I didn't need to take their wardrobes apart either because yeah, they're small. So yeah, their, their room's done basically because it was just so easy to do. So yeah, that's the kids' bedroom. And all of the rooms in the house actually feature this blind where you can transition the blind to be closed and open or you can open it fully, which is really nice as well because it means that we didn't have to go out and actually find blinds for the property. They were already like basically done. So we're gonna go down a tiny flight of stairs again, just a tiny flight. And then step up into the bathroom, the main bathroom. Um, again, those blinds I was telling you about, which is lovely. And then um, this is the sink, which is huge. I've never seen the sink this big before. And it's really good because it's got, um, it's got drawers basically where I can basically put toothbrushes, toothpaste, um, all that jazz and then in this drawer I've got like more stuff um, straighteners hairbrush hair stuff and it's just nice to have everything tucked away you don't have like things cluttering the sink I like stuff to be quite neat and tidy so that's really good and then you've got um, a mirror which I've got a few things in but um, again it's just really nice to have that already done and then this is the blinds I was telling you about basically about how you can open and close them See, this is closed, this is open, and then obviously you can open it up. 
And then this is the bathroom, um, the bath itself, which is absolutely huge, which is really good. And then over here, we've got the boiler, and then you've got this door here, which is supposed to be for a dryer, but at the moment I'm using it as storage because um, there's actually no storage in the property, which is a shame. Um, so yeah, I'm using this as storage for now, but once I've got a chance, I'm gonna clear this out and then wherever the stuff needs to go, it can go. Um, but yeah. And then this lower one here is basically where the, um, where the, washing machine is stored which is also really nice because it means that it's not taking up space in the kitchen so the washing machine is there um, and it's just nice to have it outside I guess it's just yeah nice to be covered up I guess and then this is basically the entrance to the property there's my front door yeah so that's it really so yeah the house is so nice like it's got all these like really nice features which I'll show you now so I turned off the main light in the corridor so if it's too dark it should adjust itself yeah so I turned off the main light in the corridor and then um, I've turned on this light which is basically it's like a night light basically so if you're up in the night time instead of turning on like this main light for everybody to wake up you just turn on this light and it kind of illuminates the corridor um, yeah, so you can see where you're going and you can turn that on from downstairs when you come into the entrance as well and it's also, you've also got one of those upstairs so it's got all these like little nice nifty features in it it's just so nice so, so yeah. yeah, that's the house um, it's just so beautiful like it's literally, this whole week I've been so emotional because I'm like this is just such a breath of fresh air from where we just came from um, I'm also going to put in like video footage of the flat that we were in and the flat that we just left basically and just show you like almost like a comparison of like how like just how different it was and like I said those of you that kind of saw the vlogs that I put up before um, would know that we left our actual home because um, we were like the house was was um, how can I describe it? It basically had rising damp in the property and it was causing like mold and mold to grow like on everything in our bedroom. And that was kind of like the pinpoint for my eczema and why it flared up so bad in the first place. It was also the pinpoint um, to my son's seizures. So when we moved into this, the temporary accommodation previously, the one that we just came out of now, um, my skin flared up again like crazy. Um, it flared up like all over my neck. You guys saw my before and after. But when we moved into that flat, literally my neck all broke out here, all under my armpits, my hands, my my feet. It's, I've still got eczema on my hand from that breakout as well. Um, when you guys saw from my other video that my hands were completely clear. So it was so frustrating like knowing that I'd got to that point in my healing process and then kind of like been catapulted back because the council had just kind of ignored my my um like basically ignored the reason why we moved in the first place and just put us in another damp property which was just ridiculous so, i kind of wanted to go and show you um basically what a poor condition this place was in when we came here they said the place wasn't damp or moldy and yet you can see visible damp literally all over the house so this is how the windows are, you can see literally like all up the window you've got damp and then also you can see if I go a bit lower you can see where you've got like mould in between like the windows and stuff and then here where they clearly try to scrub it and just left traces of it but you can see it literally everywhere literally everywhere and these are how this is how literally all the windows are in the house so this is the heater in the sitting room as you can see the state of it is just another level like there's so much dust dirt and whatever like, God knows how long that stuff's been there for. 
but something like this is basically going to give off a lot of mold spores because it's going to settle in the heater and then every time you turn it on it's going to disperse all those mold spores into the air so that's an area of concern as well yes yeah, so you probably won't be able to see it because obviously it's fine but just over where between where somebody's dropped a bit of grape vine or whatever you call that and my son's toy there's like a massive spider web just covering this whole thing and like stuff like this just makes me feel sick because like obviously it's temporary accommodation this is basically how the floor is so it's just like um it's like tiled car tiled floor but it's been painted black over and when I asked them why they did that, they said maybe because the floor was in poor condition, they just painted it black. But for temporary accommodation, I mean, no one in their right mind would would carpet or floor this place because it's too expensive. When you know that you're going to be leaving it soon, so I don't know. Common sense would say give it to somebody in a in a condition they can live in, because the the floor is like this. There's literally spiders everywhere coming out of all these gaps leaving all of these webs and it doesn't feel like home it just feels like you're basically living in a halfway house like obviously one of the kids probably dropped that there obviously I haven't been staying here for the last month or so so I don't know how long that's been there for but I mean if you were in a proper home and your floor was carpeted and you was taking care of it and looking after it how you would this would not be there and yeah it's just really disheartening really but you can just see, like, just the finish of everything is just so bad. So this is the kitchen, this is the boiler. And as you can see, all of the pipe work and holes are just exposed. So there's, like, spider webs, dirt, mould up there. And as you come down, you can see basically the state of the pipes um, you can see the mold very clearly on these pipes because even though they made an attempt to clean most of it off they didn't clean down here so when they were saying oh no the place is fine it's not moldy they basically lied because you can see it right there basically so this is a hole basically in the kitchen um, behind the washing machine that basically leads to like the brick, the brickwork of the outside um, wall. And when we moved here, this pipe was leaking and um, one of the neighbours complained downstairs to say that this pipe had been leaking for years and that every once in a while they come and tighten it or fix it and it starts leaking again. So this is probably like one of the main points where um, mold will probably develop because essentially it's been wet constantly dripping nobody's gone behind this wall to see what it looks like or what's going on behind this actual wall but then the hole is exposing anything coming from it um, to basically us inside the house so this is another thing um, that I basically pointed out to the council because um, if you was to get a building inspector in to come and see this this would actually be a major mycotoxin hazard um, so this is literally unacceptable but yeah this is what they do this is how they give you properties so yeah this is the pipe work in the corridor um, leading up to the front room again the heaters are completely filthy Again, the pipe work is, is basically exposed, it's not been covered properly, there's always spiders in here, there's a massive spider web in the corner there. Um, and then if we go along, it's the same on this side as well. So when you get to this end, it's not been finished properly, the gas, the gas pipes are exposed, the, pipe, the pipes are exposed there, and you can see basically how it's just been poorly finished. So you can't even shut open the door properly because this whole thing just opens. It's basically broken and we asked them to fix it and they didn't fix it. So this is just how it's been. Again, this shouldn't be like that. It's not it's not healthy, it's not 
Nobody should be made to live like this. I just don't understand. This is the stairs. Again, because it's council, they don't carpet or furnish for you. So this is how the floor is. Again, this is the black floor that I was telling you guys about before. And this is my son's room. And as you can see, the situation is the same as downstairs where you can see that there's mould all over the windows, but they made an attempt to clean it. A poor attempt to clean it. But you can see basically where it was. So now I'm going to show you the bathroom really quickly. And for me, this is the absolute worst. Um, when we first moved into the property, um, the, you could tell that it was like freshly painted. And it would, the stench of paint was so strong, it used to give me like... It used to make everyone's eyes itchy and sore, like just being in the house. And it smelled so strong, it was literally like so potent. And the whole house was painted in this paint, right? So when we first moved here, none of this was on the wall. And we've been here for three months, just under three months, because I remember I made my first complaint after Israel had his first set of seizures and my skin started to break out. And all of this that you can see on this wall here, is literally from the time that we've been here because everywhere was freshly painted before. As you can see, the mould is literally starting to creep up the bath and um, this is a telltale sign that you've got mould behind the wall because if it would come up that quickly, it means it's already in the building and the way mould works, it just kind of feeds and spreads. So um, again, with the windows, you could see where all of the mould was or would have been and they just tried to clean it up, a really poor effort of cleaning it up. Um, you can see it all along here as well. Let me see if I can get it into the light. Um, yeah, so all along here you can see where it's kind of behind the paint work here and you can also see it like in the corner Again, you can see they try to scrub it off, but it's there, you can see it. So, when I told them that me and Israel had a mold sensitivity and that my skin is bad and he has seizures, this is basically the property they gave us to apparently live in for four years until we were to get our accommodation. Um, this is the side of the bath. Again, look at the condition of this. Like. I'm not trying to be funny guys and I felt like a bit, um, what's the word I'm looking for, unsure about whether to record this or not because I feel like some people might watch this and be like, oh, there's worse situations, there's people that, that live in worse situations in the world and I get that but I just feel like if you're going to help people, this is not the kind of situation that you put them in or you don't give them properties like this because it's very demoralizing as a person to be going through something um we have to consider the fact that we actually lost our home because of this a home that we spent a lot of money decorating a home that we spent a lot of time making home and then we were given this basically to live in and it's just really like i said it's just really demoralizing and just the whole time i've been here on top of the fact that we've been sick um, it's just left me really depressed to be honest I just felt so really broken about the whole situation and having to live somewhere that I couldn't actually do anything to fix even if I wanted to like just look at that how would you go to the bathroom and feel comfortable oh, this is weird. so this is the last bit I wanted to show you like this is literally disgusting this actually made me feel so sick but you can see basically where there is mould behind the toilet and um, yeah, it's just disgusting. And they basically said to me that um, I should clean it and I had to explain to them basically that if you have a mould allergy um, you shouldn't be near mould and secondly if you scrub it you're just going to spread, spread like millions of spores everywhere into the atmosphere 
that you can't visibly see, so you're going to make it worse. So, yeah. That's basically what I wanted to show you. This is where we've been for the last three months. So, this is the reason why I haven't been my best. Because this is the conditions that I basically had to live So, it was kind of like fighting with them for like the next few months to try and get us moved again. And I feel like even though this is a temporary accommodation again, and it is frustrating to not, not having settled in to a permanent home yet, but at the same time, this house is absolutely beautiful and I couldn't have asked for anything more. So even though it's not ours, at least it's somewhere that we can actually call home for now. Um, the fact that we don't need to put carpet down, we don't need to buy blinds, literally all we needed to do was really just put our furniture in the property and just live basically until we're ready to, to move again. But yeah, it's just been such a traumatic and just stressful journey. I'm just hoping that now I can really settle down, I can really start to help you guys through all the things that you guys are going through as well. So many of you message me like literally every day and sometimes it's really hard to keep up with um, all of the messages kind of like helping like each individual person with what they're going through and I feel like if I can really just settle down and start pumping out videos again it will just make life so much easier so I'm definitely going to make an effort I don't want to promise you guys anything because I always say oh I'm going to do this and then something happens and I can't get around to doing it but I will try my absolute very best to put the next set of videos out from this Sunday I'll upload every Sunday hopefully from this weekend um you guys um, responded to a poll on my Instagram basically saying that you wanted to see more videos on eczema and hyperpigmentation, which I'm going to do, which is fine. Um, and some of you still wanted to see the rest of the Eats for Eczema series. So I'm going to kind of alternate it. I'll put some videos up that are like skincare related and then just put the Eats for Eczema kind of like in between. Um, I think there's only three or four more videos to go anyway, but we'll see how it goes. Like I said, you guys follow me on Instagram, um, let me know your thoughts, let me know what you want to see from me, and I'll do my very best to cater to um, what your needs are. I'm so happy that you guys are finding the content useful, and I really hope that you guys um, will enjoy all that's to come, because literally I have so much in store, it's actually unbelievable. Um, but yeah, I guess I can go now. I've shown you the house. As you can see, there's so much joy and just smiles on my face. I'm just so happy. Um, so yeah, you definitely will be seeing more of me. Um, again, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And I really hope you enjoy this journey with, um, with me, the PR, and the rest of the PR team. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.